What is up, everybody? It's Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Panini Mosaic Football Hobby 6-box Half Case Break Pickers Unit number 10 sold out. And again, this is the second half of the Master. So good luck to everybody. Thank you for buying in. No more hobby, at least for today, guys. And again, Jets for last ball. Mojo, real. Gets the Jets. So there's the six boxes of hobby here. Remember, you get two autographs per box on average. Some nice color. Chase some stained glass. Let's see what goodies are hiding here in this second half of the case. Most of them guys. Okay, in two stacks from now on. Alright. Randy Moss. Brian Erlacher. Andre Swift, Jordan Love. Randy Moss here. A little prism silver this time. Emmett Smith. And we got center stage. Kyler Murray balled out today, guys. James Morgan for the Jets. Silver. It's going to real. Last ball mojo. Little Steve Young. Garner Minshew, Stair Masters. Ooh. Steelers, last ball mojo? Someone went out and grabbed the Packers? That's big time right there. Cam Akers. And we got a Justin Herbert. Daniel with the charges, a little red right there. That's very nice. Introductions. Joe Burrow. Ooh, Ryan Redman looks like he might have got him. I can't see the orders from here, but I trust you guys. There you go. So again, guys, if it fills up, it'll break after this, and same thing. You guys fill up maybe another mosaic choice, um, like the filler break. We can do that tonight as well. Indianapolis Colts, Jacob Eason autograph, Baker Mayfield, and wow, look at that, another gold coming out. That's three golds in a whole master. That's pretty strong. Chris Conley, three out of ten. For the Jacksonville Jaguars going to Jeremy. In it to win it. We got Joe Burrow. AJ Brown. Rob Gronkowski. AJ Brown. 
Russell Wilson. And Devin Singletary. Chase Young, NFL debut, silver. Rogers for the Green Bay Packers going to Travis. Men of Mastery, Payne Manning for the Colts. And Gilbert Brown for the Green Bay Packers. Second to last spot mojo. Travis got the Packers. Jeff Okuda. Mike Evans red. <laughs> Matt, it's funny you say that. I was actually watching D2 yesterday. It's funny. Very nice. I mean, my, I like D2 and D3. Not, not that I don't like the original Mighty Ducks. It's just now that I'm older, I feel like I just they're just too too much little kids, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a big Kings fan, Die Hard. You know, for me, it's like, screw the Ducks. It's just like a rivalry. That's just the way it is. But I'm not going to lie, man. When I was a kid and Mighty Ducks came out, I love hockey. If I wasn't a Kings fan, embedded already, like, in my brain that I love the Kings and not the Ducks. You know, I probably, probably, uh, would have became a Ducks fan. But I just love the movies, though, for sure. Bash Brothers, Dean Portman, that's right. What about some Julie the Cat Gaffney? <laughs> Julie the Cat. It's just so funny. It's just, man, I feel sad, though, for the actor that played uh, Goldberg, obviously. You know, some photos of him recently, not so good, but he's so funny in the second one when they're like a Rodale drive and <laughs> they're buzzing all these stores. <laughs> like, Can I get three cheeseburgers, some fries, and what do you guys want to drink? Has he? Okay, that's good. I remember those photo surface when they were doing like the reunion, to the like the 25th anniversary, or however long it was, and uh, the Ducks were doing all these promos with the Anaheim Ducks, and I know he wasn't there, you know. I was just like, man. But yeah, no, that was funny, and <laughs> pretends to be like this rich nephew of like some rich guy. Jordy Nelson for the Packers. I know it. He's like, he's a Aaron Spelling's nephew. <laughs> That's right. No, Hank Aaron. Of course, Aaron Spelling. Saquon Barkley, overdrive. Now, some points. All right, 400 points being given away. At the end of the break, Warren Sapp. I did. I remember all those lines, though. It's just, that one just sticks to my head. I'm telling you, I used to watch, I love those movies when I was a kid. That, the Sandlot is embedded in my brain. All those, like, 90s, uh, all those 90s movies, sports little movies are really embedded in my brain. But I did just say yesterday, though. T. 
Higgins silver. What is uh? I hope I don't offend you, Matt. What is what's three ninjas? Hey man, yeah, Benny actually was was in D two. He was a uh, was the speedster. Tua, monsters. I that sounds familiar, William. What is it about? Refresh my memory. Maybe I have. I mean, I didn't watch like every '90s like kids movie, like or not kids movie, but like that we're talking about sports. You know, not all of them, but just the ones that stuck into my head. Marquise Brown. Ladanian Tomlinson. Also, guys, if you guys haven't already, you guys need to watch Cobra Kai. It's already on, it's already on Netflix. I seen it when it first came out a couple years ago on YouTube. Such a good show. Adrian Peterson. Cobra Kai is a great show. It's awesome, right? Oh, season two is awesome too, man. It's really funny, actually. <laughs> I actually started binging it again because when it came back on Netflix, I was like, oh, cool. I, I legit just get the YouTube TV just to binge it, and then I'll cancel the subscription after. It's such a great show. Yeah, he definitely is. Oh, that sounds interesting. I don't think I have. Who raised Dracula in a bunch of bags? So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, the Wi Fi part was so funny. Jordan Brooks for the Seahawks. Debo Samuel. Oh, I gotta check it out, William. That, that kind of sounds interesting. Hey, Manning Silver. And we got Carson Wentz. 59 out of 99 for my Eagles. Going to Dargan. And it's a win at Troy Aikman. Dino Times. I don't remember that one. Hey, Manny. Goonies is a good one, too. I, I, I remember that one very well, too. It's, it's always on, like, cable as well, like TBS or, you know, all those other shows. All those other channels. So, Goonies definitely is a really good one. It's definitely a good one to watch. It's just so funny seeing Josh Brolin there. Like, isn't, like he's so young there. <laughs> and I started thinking that he's, he's straight up Thanos now. <laughs> Lost Boys. That's a good. That's a good one. I, I remember seeing that. My uh, one of my English teachers actually, back in a uh, high school, like my freshman year, she was like obsessed with that movie. And one time when we had like a like a free day or something, she put it on for us. I was like, whoa! <laughs> I was like, that was a good one. Lost Boys. Honestly, I like him as Llewellyn. Llewellyn in uh, No Country for Old Men. That's a great flick. I can watch that movie, like, a lot. 
<laughs> Anton just cracks me up, man. It was a like straight up serial killer. Cobra Kai, I'll rub tell you, man. I, I would be s some spoilers right now, but Matt says he's on season two, so I don't want to say anything. But I love season one, but season two was definitely so good and just left you like wild at the end and kind of hoping certain things happen in season three. So I'm so happy that Netflix actually picked it up and should be coming out. It would have came out this year, actually, but with COVID, of course, everything got pushed back, so. Definitely a good one for next year to look forward to. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it, it was on YouTube TV for the first two seasons, and then it got picked up by Netflix. So definitely, give definitely season three is coming. I don't know how many seasons after that. I hope it like never stops, but <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna end at some point. But I'm hoping at least two more seasons, season three, maybe season four. It'd be nice, but if I can get at least season three, that, that's good enough for me. And that's another TV show that I can definitely just binge, like, randomly throughout the years. If it's still obviously on Netflix. It's really good. Chase Claypool Red. Jeff Okuda. I know, that William Zaka, yeah. He's, he's, you just learn to like him though. You know, the cool thing about Cobra Kai that I loved is that they kind of flipped it, right? You kind of now got to see what his life was about. And, you know, we all thought he was just, you know, just a little D-bag and had it so good. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, obviously, he did have it much better than other kids growing up. But, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of things you didn't know about what was happening with his life in the back end stuff so it's pretty cool and then you get to see like Daniel LaRusso now just big time great life and it's like flipped around <laughs> put him in a body bag yeah I remember that actually that guy comes out in now. That guy actually comes out in season two. Spoiler. Yeah, the old reference says it's pretty good too, yeah. <laughs> you know what I love though is that, uh, what, I, <laughs> what I love is when, uh, I'm sure you guys see it already, but when he's making his infomercial. I can't say this over there right now, but it's like, don't be a pee. <laughs> like, he's saying all these things, and then he just, that's what he ends it off with. <laughs> yeah, wet t-shirt contest, and like, he's looking up, uh, he's he's clicking all these ads. Antonio Gany Golden for the uh, Washington football team, he's looking up all these ads, he's like, oh, wow. He goes, no way, and then he's just like, I knew it. It was like dinosaurs created this and created that. It's all gullible. Yeah, he's like Iron Eagle 1 and Iron Eagle 2. <laughs> Tony Gonzalez 99. Uh, it makes me want to watch it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's all like, <laughs> One of my other funny references is all like, my students told me to get an apple, and you sold me a lemon. <laughs> he's like, first of all, it's a Dell, <laughs> and he's all like, have you even turned it on? It's so funny. He's like, I'm not a nerd. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a good thing. This is a pawn shop, not a geek squad. <laughs> Oh man, it's a classic. Good one. Drew Locke. It's Drew Burrow right here. 
Blue chips, Derwin James. John Riggins. Chris Godwin. Henry Ruggs. All right, we got DeAndre Swift. Ugh. We would have caught that pass, right, guys? Be winning right now. Jerry Rice. Honestly, man, I would I want to say, but this year in 2020, there's just been so many releases. Honestly, if something like that happens to you, what do you do? Like, are you just so frustrated in yourself? Do you just wipe it out of your memory? I just feel like it's 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 so hard to like predict what you what you're doing. Like, I feel like I'd you just be just kicking myself, but then again, like that's not what you need to do. You know, you need just need to shake it off, rub it off, and just get better. But I just feel like something like that's just in the back of your head so much. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we'll find out what, what he does. And Mar Levy, Hall of Fame 01 for the Bills. Oh, so he had done that already, Travis. See, that's the one thing. So you kind of, um, you, you kind of like, you hate that because, you know, they're just so excited, right? He probably like, ooh, like, a, he's just so excited he's going to score a touchdown. And he just forgets that he needs to catch it first, you know, and get in. Which, that's kind of a frustrating thing as a fan. It's like, dude, I, I get it. You, you want to push it upfield, but make the catch first, secure it, and then start pulling up. Oh, I mean, it was frustrating for me today, Travis. My Eagles did pretty good first half, I'm not going to lie. Offense was in sync. They weren't allowing as many sacks. Maybe just one in the first half, if any. The line held up pretty strong with all the injuries they already have, you know, but second half was just something else. It's like they walked out of the locker room either just dead tired or just didn't want to play football anymore, which forced Carson Wentz to try to extend plays. He got sacked like eight times. You know, it's – it's that's not going to help. And obviously the defense let up some points too. Don't get me wrong. You know, you shut them out the first quarter and a half going into the second quarter. Or going into the third, it's like, what, 17 to 7, but, you know, what are you going to do? You know, everybody obviously had their ups and downs today, but that was just kind of hurt one. That hurt a lot. <clears throat> but I think, you know, it's also with no preseason, these linemen are going up against each other. and not that I'm not saying they're not going 100%, but totally different from... A preseason game to practice so I think the preseason really ha at least hurt the Eagles a little bit yeah ex exactly Travis so it's gonna take like let's say my Eagles it's gonna take them a couple weeks to get in sync with all the D line or the all the O line and you know some receivers and stuff but if there was one positive though for me is that I think the Eagles can definitely put up some points this year uh, in the NFL and Jalen Rigor is I think he's gonna be good like I was telling someone earlier, he went just missed him on like a 75 yard bomb. He got him on a 55 yarder. So, hopefully, they gotta move on. I was like, good for the Washington football team, though. Honestly, you know, they hadn't beaten us in like three years. We we're six and zero the last three years against them. So, I guess it was about time. And more happy for Ron Rivera, too, just because what he's going through. And still being out there and coaching, that's pretty strong.
All right, next one, guys. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, Akers didn't get as many carries as uh, Brown did today, which Brown looked good. But when Akers did touch the ball, he looked he looked very good, which it's just going to be hard for him to get reps with the depth that you have with the Rams. And hopefully he just kind of just, just starts separating himself from, from the running backs a little bit. You know, Darrell Henderson, him and Brown, kind of more by committee, but... Hey, in the beginning, guys, I was, I mean, I didn't watch the Bears game, but in the beginning, everybody was talking, time to put Nick Foles in, but I guess played well enough to get the Bears back into the, back into a, the W column, right? And now, kind of changed a little bit. Van Jefferson looked good, too, for the Rams, so, you know. It's just with the Rams, too, like, they have kind of a lot of weapons, you know. The running back step up, you have the running backs, right? You, you have a nice tight end. You have still Robert Woods. You have Cooper Cup and Van Jefferson. AP look good, too. I, I'm glad. I'm happy for him, too. I just think AP is just such on a mission that anywhere he goes, he's going to be productive. Like, he still has so much left in the tank, and he's so motivated. It don't matter what locker room he's going to. He's gonna just produce if he gets the chance. So good for the Lions to get up that to get that guy. I think a good veteran presence like him is a good thing. Having him in the locker room. Aaron Rodgers, the MVP is Prism Silver. Ryan Tannehill. And yeah, Steelers play tomorrow against who do they play? Is it the t do they play the Titans tomorrow? I don't think I've seen the Titans play today. John Alway, center stage. Oh, they play the Giants. That's right. Giants. Did the Titans play today? Or are they the next game? No, because that'd be Denver and who? Whoa! Look at that. Daniel with the charge is getting a little Justin Herbert. My boy Herbert, pro duck. Oh, okay, so Denver does play against Tennessee more. Gotcha. Tomlinson Silver. Erlocker. Blue Chips. Jalen. Everything's gonna be alright. That Prescott. Peyton. Antonio Gandhi Golden. Cards are getting stuck a little bit. Silver rookie. Josh Allen to 99. And a little TB Tom Brady. Still have some work to do with the Buccaneers, but I think they'll make the adjustments. Tovaloa. Russell Wilson. 
Aaron Jefferson, Justin Herbert. Russell Wilson. Sony. Eli. Tua. Jordan Hicks. Miss him as an Eagle. Had a lot of injuries with the Eagles, but has been stayed healthy with the Cardinals and done really well. Justin Herbert Red, very nice. More for the Chargers. And Kyle Long, one of the Long brothers. For the Bears and Jarrell. Got Michael Pittman. And Tyler Boyd. Overdrive, Marshawn Lynch. Um, no, Joe, it's it's not gonna go tonight. It'll probably go tomorrow. We still have to fill up like about six or seven spots straight up, and probably do a, a couple fillers actually. Roethlisberger. Um, I think it'll go tomorrow though. Probably most likely not tonight. What the hell? George Blanda played with the Raiders in, at 48 years old? What the hell is going on over there? <laughs> Please. Two more boxes, guys. Dun, doo -doo -dun, dun, doo -doo -dun. All right, next box, guys. Second to last. Will Fuller. Marshall Lynch. T.Y. And Clyde Edward Hilaire. LT. Redemption. Rookie autographs, mosaic, card number nine. Justin Jefferson. There you go, Minnesota Vikings. Rob Gronkowski. Ricky wanted some Justin Jefferson. There you go. Blue chips. 
Sony. Wait, so did we sell a Mosaic Choice 7 already? Oh, wait, no, we have the Steelers left last spot mojo. Come on, guys, you guys gotta sell it out. Remember, I told you, if you guys don't sell it out, I'm leaving. Come on, one left. Steelers, $89.99. No fillers, just straight up, seven. You can sell out by itself. Come on, come on. Taysom Hill. Oh, Oliver, same maybe. All right, let me get you something nice here to convince you, okay? Blaze Campbell. And Larry Fitzgerald, a little purple or violet, the other color they call it. Herbert introductions. George with that Fitzgerald color. John Elway center stage. Joe Burrow NFL debut. CD, Chase Young. Stephon Diggs. Jermaine Evans. Wow, a little center stage. Patty Mahomes. For the Chiefs going to Josh. Can't go wrong with those center stage cards. Steve Young, silver. Kirk Cousins. Blue Chips, Matthew Stafford. And Cole McDonald had a fun. Tennessee Titans. Dustin with that. Mike Olstock. Tom Brady MVP's ref. That's pretty nice. Roman with the Patriots. Joe Burrow. That uh, was already like a surface scratch right there. But I think you can easily wipe those off. Or streak, I guess. Keyshawn Vaughn, Silver, and Rob Gronkowski, 5 out of 99. And to win it, Russell Wilson, Chase Young, Hall of Fame, Jerome Bettis, Prism Silver, JJ Watt for Houston. And Russell Wilson, Montage, Jefferson, Jerry Judy, and Joe Burrow. Alrighty guys, last box. Remember, we want to continue to do Mosaic, guys. Mosaic choice, Pikachu number seven is one spot away. Steelers, last spot mojo at $89.99. And we can do that next. Much quicker those breaks, though. 
with skipping all the all the base and just getting right down to business. I know, Oliver. I gotta get you, man. I'm gonna try my best right now. And good luck to everybody, guys. All it takes is that one hit. Just quickly top loading everything here. Twenty one cars top load, jeez. All right, last box mojo. J.K. Dobbins, Silver Rookie, and Julio Jones to 22 out of 99, Blue. That is going to Raymond. Overdrive, Marshawn Lynch. Also going to Raymond. Jalen Rigor, Prism Silver. Tiki Barber. Man of Mastery, Payne Manning. And we got a CD Lamb for the Cowboys. Bruce with that one. Very nice. Tyreek Hill. Silver and Jim Kelly. Chris Jones, Lamar Jackson, Red, Mitch Trubisky, Aaron Donald, Silver. Stephon Gilmore and Stairmasters Christian McCaffrey Herbert Justin Jefferson and a Herbert base and we got Anthony McFarlane 
little prism silver, and a Joe Burrow red NFL debut. Bengals. It's going to Aaron. Gardner Minshew for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jeremy with that one. Clyde Edwards Alaire. Joe Mixon. Glenn Dawson. Jalen Hurts. Right, let's save the auto just to make it a little bit more suspenseful. AJ Green. Chris Conley. Little Tom Brady. Swagger. Mike Evans. CD Lamb. Red. Drew Brees. Josh Jacobs. Lane Vander Esch. Tua. Tua again. And let's show you guys the auto. Alright, we got And it is for the Chargers is Kenneth Murray. Linebacker for the Chargers. Alrighty guys, let's do a little quick recap and then that's it guys. We're sold out. We done. No more mosaic hobby at least for tonight. Tomorrow's Monday, new day, so maybe we get a shipment in. I don't know. So look out. Stock the website. But I think with all the new releases coming out Wednesday and Friday this week, I think we're probably done for mosaic at least for the next couple of days.
All right, guys. So here were just some uh, top quarterback rookies and inserts: Tua, Herbert, and Joe Burrow. A lot of different ones coming out to you there. Here were some of the color, either silver or rookies or bigger rookies there and players. Here was some of the interest center stage: Manning, Kyler Murray, Tiny Mahomes, John Elway, Swagger, Brady. Couple swagger birdies and some color. Tony Gonzalez blue, Carson Wentz blue, uh, Payne Manning blue, Chris Conley out of 10 gold, Rob Gronkowski, Larry Fitzgerald, Josh Allen, Julio Jones, and now let's get to the autographs. Marv Levy, Antonio Gandy Golden, Jordan uh, Brooks, Gilbert Brown, Jacob Easton, Justin Herbert, uh, Justin Jefferson Redemption, Cole McDonald, Kyle Long. C.D. Lamb and Kenneth Murray. And 11 autos, and then this would have been the 12th right here. 400 points. So let's randomize this to one customer in this break. And then that'll be it, guys. So let's grab all the customer names in here. Let's roll it. Six and a three nine times. Number one gets the 400 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. George at the top. So there you go. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.